So Jesse and I were headed out to Pheasant Ridge to meet up with Darren again and John Hereford, who was one of the original founders of the Guyman chapter of Friends of NRA. We started in 1991. The Friends of NRA had a banquet the following year and uh, decided we need to do that here. That's why the Friends of NRA program is so important. It keeps the youth involved, and they truly are the future of our sport. Well, it didn't take long for us to get out there. Chris had his guide there, Josh, and was working the dogs. And Hi, baby. See, I'm working hard. I'm working hard. Did you get my bird? I saw you go out there and get my bird. Hey, baby. All right. That's it. It was really neat to watch these dogs work and get on point for these birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could have had you one, Bob. Uh, and it's neat, really, to see John out there and Chris and even a lot of the, the parents that had come out uh, to support this day and for Chris to give up his ranch for these kids is really special. I know it's a memory that they'll take with them for the rest of their life. Out of I mean, and I the just, wind changed. Plus you the know, curvature of the earth. I mean, yeah, with the, the clouds. The latitude and longitude didn't meet up yeah. right. You know, the ammunition. I mean, it just it happens sometimes. Climate you know? control just was. All these things come into play, and right. sometimes they just don't. Line and up. we were backing up yeah. for the kids anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was a foggy day. It was a little cold, but we said, you know what? We're still going to get out there and get after these birds. Good job. Uh, you heard a boom out of me first. You beat me to the <laughs> hey. He's got a... Oh, good shot. What'd you shoot? <laughs> We've had a great time here in Gaiman, Oklahoma. We got to meet some of the wonderful volunteers in the Friends program. Get it, get it! Get yeah! It. <laughs> Who's quick draw now? <laughs> <laughs> No more getting away. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you smoke him. 